The gospel today is really about priorities and priorities in life. What is truly important? It gives us time to pause and reflect what really is important in our lives. This past March, I celebrated an out-of-town wedding. I took the Blue Line back, and it's just a couple blocks from here. And I got off, and it was in March. It was cold. It was wintry. It was about 7 o'clock at night. I had my carry-on luggage with me, and I'm walking over to Mercy. There's snow on the ground. It was really bitterly cold. And I could see ahead of me on the platform about a block. He had gotten off at a car ahead. was one of our young men, Jamal. And I knew it was Jamal. He's a wonderful young man. He is actually the president of our student council here at Mercy Home. But I identified him by this terrible limp that he has. He has some physical disabilities. He has wonderful joy. And so I'm doing my darndest to try to catch up to him, pulling my luggage and reflecting on him and thinking about his life thinking a bit about his disability. And I caught up with him, and it was just one of those wonderful moments. He, and I'm following, and all of a sudden, I got a tremendous, tremendous cramp in my leg. Tremendous cramp. And I couldn't walk. I don't know if it was psychosomatic. I don't know if it was because I was thinking about Jamel. But the truth of the matter is, I couldn't walk. And Jamel noticed it. And I became the priority. He, 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 he took my carry-on and was pulling it through the snow. I said, Jamal, no, but I needed help. I couldn't do it on my own. Are you all right, Father? I, I said, I don't know. I did not know what was going on. And so we walked together very slowly back to Mercy Home. He made me his priority to get me home to make sure that I was okay. Priorities in life. The gospel forces us, invites us to think what are the priorities in our lives. Jesus is pretty clear about that. The gospels are very clear about it. What are the priorities? Love of God and love of neighbor. They go hand in glove together. I had a wonderful experience, although a bit painful, on that March night coming back to Mercy Home. Feeling and knowing that I was a priority of one of the young people here who appreciates the home, who is grateful for all that we do, who is putting the gospel into action. Jamal loves God. He loves his neighbor. He loves Mercy Home.